What's up guys, Johnny Q here. In today's video, I'll be going over how I effectively and efficiently draw for my holster so I can get rounds down range and on target. Before we get into this video, if you guys have been liking my content on YouTube and YouTube Shorts, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help out the channel, so thank you guys. Now, let's get back to the video. For the last two or three months, I've been using this Safari Land holster for work. This is the exact model that I'm using. And for those of you wondering, I have a uh, Safe Life Defense belt that I also use for work. With holsters, obviously the thing that you want is how good is it when it comes to retention? How fast can I get my firearm from the holster itself? Let's say things are getting sticky and you need to draw your firearm from your holster. How fast can I draw that firearm and send rounds down range onto my target and onto my threat? Here's the thing, it's fairly simple and it's very easy, but Here's the kicker, you have to train, okay? Like anything in life, anything that you wanna get good at, you have to train, you gotta practice. And that means going to the range, setting yourself up, practicing, drawing your weapon from the holster, putting it back in the holster without looking. All the mechanics are gonna come into play when you really do need it. So going out and training with your holster is essential. But as you've already seen here, I'm drawing from my holster and I can get a pretty good handle on the actual pistol itself. And that's the biggest thing. You can be Speedy Gonzalez all day long, but if you don't got a good grip on that handle, once it comes out of the holster, it's kind of like, well, you're kind of screwed. I'll give you some context as to what I can do. I'm not the fastest drawer out there. I think I do fairly well. So I'll keep my hand to the side. Say, let's say I got my hands up here, right? I'm writing stuff down, whatever I'm doing, I'm on my phone, drop the phone, and I'm unholstering, right? So it's the thing about this Safari Land holster, and I have to keep a three level retention on this holster at all times. Sometimes I do find myself hitting my thumb on this little uh, retention, little lip thing here. At times, when I'm out on the range and I'm going too fast, and I don't really think about it, I just try to go for the firearm, I'll hit my thumb on one of the retentions, okay? So that's why going slow, practicing is essential. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast, right? So it's all about just practicing. It's all about practicing. It's all about what I wanna do and thinking about what I'm doing with my right arm and hand as I'm coming up to my holster. And the Safari Land holster honestly makes it pretty simple. Here's the way I like to do it. Whenever I'm going for my holster, I like to lean a little bit, right? To my left. So I have room for my thumb and my hand to get a solid grip on that handle. If I were to stand still and I went for my firearm, it's kind of awkward to me because I feel like I'm having force coming up and drawing into my body and into my firearm and into my hip where I kind of feel a little wonky. So leaning to my left as I bring up my hand allows me to put my thumb on the brake, get a good handle, come back up. I'm already leaning to my right as I'm drawing up my firearm. It's kind of all like a, a trifecta of things happening, right? So I'll, I'll go slow for you guys. I'll go. Thumb break, handle, drawing, leaning over, and I'm coming up. I got sights on target. That's basically how I manipulate my holster draw. Okay, and now we're gonna put some rounds down range for you guys, okay? So I'll kind of go slow and progressively get a little bit quicker. And just so you guys know, I'm not looking behind me. I'm not doing the whole checking left and right and behind. I know there's nothing behind me. This is just purely for training purposes of my holster. Whoa. All right, all right. Do you notice how when I get progressively quicker in my draw, the less lean that I have to my left, right? So for example, when I was going slower in this progression, I'd go and draw, I'd do this, because I have enough time and opportunity, right? So I'll go slowly, because I know what I'm doing, I have my target, there's no stress. As soon as I start introducing stress, which is go faster, draw from the holster really quick, shoot rounds down range on target. That's kind of when my lean goes from here to here. For example. 
It looked like I barely leaned, but I knew that I leaned to my left. It was a slight lean, but it, it was still there. Let me do it again. And you can see it just like the slight lean, right? Here's the draw without the lean for me, okay? I, I'm not a big fan, but I'll do it. Ah, it just feels awkward. I mean, honestly, probably it could be a little quicker. For me, it works that way. I know that I have a great grip on that firearm before I even get it out of the holster. So one more time. Ah, and I'm out. So there you go, that's my advice as to how to effectively and efficiently draw from a holster fast if you wanna be fast. If you wanna be slow, be slow, but be efficient. Get your hand on that firearm quickly, make sure it's solid to begin with, and you're gonna be golden. So thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Peace. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Come on, get back. There we go, there we go, okay.